Hello everyone. Now on daily basis, I get many many complaints on Techie SMS WhatsApp number regarding the programming issues of ESP8266-01 module. Some are coding related errors while some are hardware based errors. For coding related errors, I already made videos which helped a lot of people. And now I am trying to solve the hardware issues as well by creating my own Arduino shield for programming the ESP8266-01 module. This will completely solve the hardware issues and make the programming of generic ESP a lot easier. So let's quickly get started. So for making your own Arduino shield, you will require very basic components like a push button, 10K resistors, an on off switch, female buck strip, male headers, a generic ESP8266 and the Arduino board of course. I bought most of the components from lcsc.com. You can do buy these components from there. I will attach the links in the description. Now the connection of all the components is something like this. Now as to make it as a shield, I designed my own PCB on easyeda.com and gave its order to GLCPCB straight away. Ordering PCBs online made very convenient by JLC PCB. Just upload your Gerber file, select the masking color and pay for your order. You will be receiving the PCB straight at your doorstep. So try out JLC PCB once to make your project look better and compact. If you want the exact same PCB which I am using, then I am giving away free PCBs with every Techie SMS t-shirt order. Just select the project title under the PCB section and place your order. You will be receiving the PCB for that project absolutely free along with the t-shirt. Link for t-shirt purchase is in the description. Now one by one, I shouldered all the components on the PCB and after shouldering the components, the PCB looks something like this. Neat and professional. Now just place the ESP inside this female box strip and insert this shield on your Arduino board. You can use any of your Arduino board, maybe it's Uno or Mega. After connecting the cable to your computer, just push this flash button and press the reset button on the shield. Now your ESP is all set to get programmed. Let's try to upload LED Blink program in it. So here is the code for LED Blink program. Now before uploading the code, you need to add ESP board packages, which is really very simple. Just copy this particular link, which is attached in the description of this video. Then go to the files, preferences and paste that link here. Now open tools, go inside boards and into boards manager. Type ESP8266 here and click on this install button. That's it. Now just select the board as generic ESP8266 and select the port of your Arduino board and click on this upload button. With this, the program will get successfully uploaded without any issue. Still, if it is not uploading, try pushing that flash button again and press the reset button on the shield and upload again. This is because if you have shouldered the button in reverse order, then this may happen. So that's it about this video. I hope it will help a lot of people with the generic ESP8266 projects. Subscribe my channel to see more such amazing project tutorials. Other than project, I also used to make some getting started videos on electronic components or products, some explained videos on different technology or sensor, and some short but useful tips and tricks. So just wait for my next video until then explore, learn, share with me, Techie SMS. Yeah.